Hey guys, today me and Andrew are going to be trying uh, four Slim Jim um, meat sticks, beef sticks. Uh, these, I have the original nacho flavored, and these are like the um, deli style, and then just a regular Slim Jim. And mine are both monster size. They're 11 gram protein sticks. This is honey barbecue and Tabasco seasoned. So the, I've had the Tabasco before. I'm really looking forward yeah, to eating it again. Any it's, been a, it's been a while since I've actually been able to find one of these. Where did you say you bought it? Walmart. They got tons of them. Well, I, you know, I used to you know, get them at gas stations and whatnot. But. Uh, the original is $1.68, but it's a pretty good size. The nacho, which is a teeny tiny one, it was 75 cents. And the, both the monster ones are $1.88 a piece. Which is still not bad because these things are huge. They are big. 260 calories for this thing. I was telling him if he, was to, if he was to whack somebody with this, they'd know it. The original is 240, and this red, this uh, nacho one's 130. Well, that's a lot. This bit a lot. It's smaller. a lot thinner. So we're gonna try the original one first. And this big monster right here. Yeah. I haven't had a slim gin in ages. You got a big beef. I did. There's um. This brand, Slim Jim's always been a little tougher, a little chewier, a little denser. They've always had that juice on the inside, mm -hmm. that fat. They're good. You know what I'm talking about? That spice. Yeah, there's a spice in there. Gosh, I love Slim Jim so much. They're good, just know that they're they're denser and tougher than some of the other ones, but they're, they're the flavor is excellent. But they've got that spice that's unique to Slim Jim. Yeah. Nothing out, no other meat stick anywhere has that unique flavor. It's uh, it's got a spice. It's like Worcestershire sauce. Tingle. That's unique. Mm -hmm. That that's good. I like that. I, I like the flavor taste like that. Now, so this one's the nacho. I have no clue. It's probably gonna taste like pump cheese. Huh. I hope so. I don't know how you're supposed to open them. Pull it. Uh, my fingers are greasy after the first one. Get to me. You see the grip. I can't get any grip. I think my, it's slippery. Yeah, let's see what you're talking about. And there's no like dents, not like perforations. We might need some scissors. Yeah, we're definitely going to need it. Or I'm going to use my teeth. No. Ah. Yep, you're right. With the, If you cut right there, we might be able to. What are you doing? No. Ooh. There you go. I thought you were going <laughs> to. Just cut it off and let us, you know, push Fight. it out like a push poppet. Yeah, we could still fight with it, yeah. Like a Flintstones. Mm. That's really tough. Not that, not too bad though. That's almost like eating jerky. Did you get cheese? That get a weird flavor. Yeah, it's a weird flavor. I don't I identify it as cheese. I don't even know what to identify that as. No, um, I don't. It's like a spice, kind of. Yeah. The but flavors, it's, more, it's more thick than a spice. Yeah. It's more like a gravy than a spice. It doesn't taste like gravy, but it's more, you know. Yeah, I don't like They're like a savory, but it's not savory. Spicy. That's the word. Yeah. Thank you, sir. The original it actually has a really good flavor. It's good and yeah. spicy. It's got a heat to it. So the honestly, nacho. I wouldn't yeah. recommend the nacho. No, I wouldn't get that one either. Let's see if Honey Barbecue can measure up. It's got the, the big. Meat stick, so yeah, maybe. I'm forward to this one. Got it. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, hell. Oh, got it. Okay. You got it. You recovered. I recovered. I almost ripped it. Ooh, that is thick. It is a pretty good size. It's very soft. It smells good, too. It smells like barbecue sauce. Yeah, now that one is much, much softer and not as dense as the original. Love that casing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We have. I'm getting that honey barbecue. Mm -hmm. I like the texture. It's definitely there. I like the flavor. It's um. There's a little bit of a graininess that that's there. That if you're sensitive to that, you may not like it. But I like that. That is a good addition to the original. Yes. That's so it has some of that same spice as the original, with just a little bit more of a sweeter flavor to it. And honestly, the thing, once you get, once you got some this, in the back this, of my this, throat. this would be a snack that you could grab. It's going to take you a minute to eat it. Oh, it's yeah. 260 calories. Which isn't bad. I mean, a, cal a candy bar. I might have to buy a bunch of these. Just as <laughs> like. 
I don't have water. I got more thing. Uh, they could be meal substitutes for me. They could. Did a couple of them. <laughs> That's good. That, I could eat two for lunch and that'd be it. And then I, then I'd get twenty something grams of protein. And yep. The honey barbecue. People are like, don't do that, Andrew. No. They have keto diets where you just eat meat. I need to do that. I bet you I could lose weight on that. It's just you just eat meat. Christina won't do. Sure. She's gonna fry you a whole pack of bacon. I told, I told her before. I said, just let me eat meat. Let me just eat meat. I'll do it. That's that's a diet I could freaking do. That thing is an expensive diet. Oh yeah, I could do that. I'll eat any kind of meat. I eat Guido if they let me. Guido be uh, just kidding. He'd be, he'd be nasty. He'd be like eating a goose. <laughs> what? He's not very. He'd be like eating some kind of bird. <laughs> All right, Tabasco. Tabasco. I'm, I already know where this is. This, yeah, I've never this, had this. this is good stuff. It looked like it was about as soft as the barbecue one. Now it's a little tougher. We you that. All right, first I didn't get the flavor of the Tabasco. I am now. You gotta, you gotta eat it. Yeah, you sure kind of start working it through your mouth. Because it is Tabasco. It is, it is a original stick coated in Tabasco sauce. That's basically all it is. So if you took original and dipped it in Tabasco, that's what the, this yeah. is what it would be like. Yeah, this is exactly. It's just a straight up mm. Tabasco brand stick, and it's it is spicy. It is My good. Throat's got that little burn. Oh to yeah, it, but it's good. If you like the Tabasco pepper kind of flavor, Tabasco is definitely the way to go. If you want a little bit of a sweet spice, the honey barbecue is good, and the original. If you just want that original meaty spice. Avoid the nacho, I mean, would, it's just not. But I would definitely, if you're gonna buy one, either go for the monster or go for the deli style. Go for the big one. Mm -hmm. The big stick, you're gonna leave it's chewier, it's not chewier, it's a, what, what's the word I'm like, tender, more tender mm -hmm. and bigger. These things are really, yeah, I mean, not some, some of them are really good, but. Well, and even if you buy one of these, if you don't want all the calories, just, just eat half of it. But it's good. So it's good. These are definitely worth it. Slim Jim, uh, just so everyone, we're clear, that's my favorite beef stick. On the market for the ones we've tried especially recently that's, that's probably got the most flavor for sure so i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching